Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting tutorial on my channel, MI Tutorials. So Power BI recently released a lot of new features in the month of November and one of them which caught my attention was the dynamic slicer. Now what I mean by this is let me demonstrate this by giving you an example. So I have three slicers over here. I have the three columns added in this particular slicer which is city, category and region and you can add as many columns as you want in that particular slicer. So let's say if you want to add country, you want to add subcategories or you want to add products, whatever that you want you can add over here. I have added three uh, columns over here and this particular slicer is the new feature that they have added. So what this is basically doing is it is showing you all the category details that are there in this particular category column. Likewise, if I select city over here, this is giving me the details of all the cities present in that particular column. And then I have another slicer here, which I have made a tutorial on this earlier as well, uh, demonstrating how we can change the Y axis, for example, uh, on this particular chart over here, it is showing me profit over here by region which I have selected over here and then I can just select sales over here and the everything here will change to sales. Now this is displaying the uh, values here for the sales column. You will also notice that the title of this particular chart is changing dynamically as well. So if I select city over here, this is now displaying sales by city and it gives you the city of details of all the cities present in that particular column and I can make a selection from here as well. I can select as many cities as I want and display just those cities. Now this is that particular dynamic slicer. This is just one slicer but it is changing based on the selection that you make in this particular slicer above. So isn't this a really really cool feature which Power BI has added recently. Now make sure that you update your Power BI to the latest version which is uh, which is released in the month of November. So this is what I'm going to be teaching you today. So let's get started with this tutorial. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to go here to the modeling tab and click on new parameter and select fields. So let's give it a name to this particular uh, field over here. Let's call this as dynamic slicer. And I'm going to come here to my data set and I'm going to add in all the fields that I want in my slicer uh, for the selection. So for example, I have added category, city, uh, let's add region and then let's add uh, subcategory as well. Uh, and then let's click on create. So you will see that we've created a new slicer over here. Let me quickly format this slicer so that it is looking nice and clean. Okay, so I have now formatted my slicer. So it's now time for me to create a new chart over here to display. So let me just create a quick uh, column chart over here. I'm gonna add this column chart. So, uh, and then I'm gonna add total sales here in the Y axis. And then uh, I'm going to go here to my dynamic slicer, uh, which we just created. This is the what if parameter that we just created. I'm going to bring in the dynamic slicer here into the X axis. Now you will see that it is showing total sales by category because we don't have anything selected. When we don't have anything selected, it automatically takes the first uh, slicer value over here. So let's select city over here and it is now displaying the information of all the cities here and their corresponding sales amount. Let me quickly uh, add the data labels to this particular visual over here. And then likewise, if I select region, it is giving me the region details and subcategory as well. So let's add the second slicer, which will give us all the column values in that particular uh, selection. So I'm gonna copy this particular visual and make a duplicate of this and just bring this below over here. The only thing that we need to change over here is go back to this field over here and select show values of selected field. So the moment you do that, you see that all the category subcategory information is available in this particular slicer. And then if, if you choose city over here, you will see all the cities that are present in the particular column is being displayed over here. Now this is the dynamic slicer uh, feature that they have added in Power BI during the November release. Now what we can also do is I can select multiple cities over here and choose to display only that city information in this particular visual. Now in, in the same visual over here, let's say you want to add, uh, you want to show subcategory information, you can simply select subcategory over here and look at just a few categories based on the requirements, everything on one single visual. Now this is really, really cool feature and I think it's a must have in your dashboard. 
I'm sure your bosses are going to get impressed with this particular feature. So now that we have added sales, um, I will quickly show you how to uh, make the uh, values dynamic as well. I had made a tutorial on this earlier as well. If you have not watched that, I, I have made a detailed tutorial on that. You can watch that as well. So I'm going to quickly go here to new parameter, go to fields, and then I'm going to bring in the total sales and total profit over here and call this as sales slash profit and then click on create. So I've now added a new slicer over here. Let me just quickly format this slicer as well. And let me just bring this something like this. And I'm, I'm gonna go back here to the chart where I added the total sales into the Y axis. I'm gonna get rid of that. Go to the sales slash profit. Uh, what if parameter that we just created and bring that into the Y axis. And now when I select profit over here, you will see that it is now displaying total profit by subcategory based on the selection that we have made in this particular dynamic slicer. And then I can select total sales and this will now display the total sales for these particular categories. Now, if you want to compare both, you can simply control select and display the total sales as well as total profit in this particular chart only. So one chart which can address all of your columns and your subcategories, your city, your country, region, etc. Everything in one single chart. I am quite excited to use this feature in my dashboards. I hope you are as well. So that's it guys in this particular tutorial. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. You've learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.